this video we're going to show us how to clean a vat valve blade. <clears throat> this is the vat valve here. Let me back up the camera. This is the total valve. This is what we took out of the machine. Slides in. This blade is extended or retracted uh, depending upon whether we're opening or shutting the uh, chamber. But right now it's very, a couple of very important things. We never want to touch any of these adjustments. We don't even really want to mess with the blade that much itself. It, and even when wiping it down, we need to be very careful, first of all, if we touch it with our hands, to have gloves on. But I suggest a Q-tip. You can't do a lot of damage with a Q-tip. So you would get this alcohol on this Q-tip, and you would clean out this seal that goes all the way around. It's a pretty elaborate seal. It seals both sides, goes both ways. I'm going to get a close-up of the turnaround on it, what I call the turnaround, because this actually, let's see if I can get a close-up here, you can see where the seal runs along the bottom and then comes up here and does a U-turn and comes over then the top of the blade. This allows this particular seal to seal both sides. So you can run vacuum on one chamber, atmosphere on the other, and then you can reverse that then this seal will hold up. That's what it's designed to do. The other seal on the vat valve is the face seal. And this is just an O-ring inside of a groove that you need to make sure it is clean as well. Uh, perhaps a light coating of vat grease on that seal. I try to stay away from vat grease on this seal because grease, vat grease tends to cause things to stick to things. So it's best if you can keep this dry from uh, seal. Now there may come a time when it wears to the point where you may develop a leak and we have to use uh, vac grease in order to accomplish uh, vacuum but other than that we just wipe this down with isopropyl alcohol make sure it's very well cleaned with your glove on hand you might run your finger around to make sure you don't feel any deposition chunks on that seal itself. That's pretty much how you do that and once it's clean uh, you very carefully reinstall that. Uh, that video is available on how to remove and install a vat valve.